Well, hello and welcome to this episode of PPW. You're watching us on our YouTube channel. Team number one. On PPW Petaluma. Follow us online at PPW Petaluma on Twitter and on Instagram. Phoenix Pro Wrestling on Facebook. My name is Tim Livingston. My partner Eric Ritz will join me soon, but it's time for the Bad Boys. Here coming by their miniature, the Bright Lucian Delight. From the Bad Streets, Dominic Texera, Derek Slade, they are the Bad Boys. We are beginning with a 10-man battle royal featuring five tag teams. The winner of this battle royal, the last person standing, will have their team move on to a future PPW Tag Team Championship opportunity. Those titles are on the line tonight as Drake Frost and Jekyll the Jester, who unceremoniously won the titles at our last show in July, will take on Grizzly Cow Jack on the flying number line. Two. So the bad boys out here to start, Darius Slade and Dominic Teixeira, of course, Lucian Delight with the light-up kicks next to him. Healing from the Hero Universe, Yellow Boots, Cliff Hendricks, and former WWE NXT superstar, Captain Comic, they are the Cosmic Power. Captain Comic and Cliff Hendricks, team number two here. We've seen them team up a couple of times before on previous PPW shows. Captain Comics has actually had an opportunity at the PPW Tag Team Championships. We'll see if this very colorful duo will be able to be the last team standing. As I mentioned, five teams will take part in this. Over the top rules, as always. And introducing team number three. And talk about one of the up and coming teams, the former PPW Tag Team Champions have thrown their hats into this ring, both metaphorically and literally. As KD, there he is, Keita Murray and D Rowe. From the Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando, Florida, they are former PPW Tag Team Champions. He's all black. D Rogue, and he's all that. Keita Mary, K, and D. Keita Murray loves himself some orange soda. His partner, D Rogue, on the other side. Very popular tag team here. A very good 2019 for Keita Murray. All that, and D Rogue, K, and D. The former PPW tag team champions who did lose those titles to the current champion. And they're gonna to look to get their opportunity tonight for a chance at redemption. Keita Murray, all of that orange soda, he's gonna need it. He's gotta outlast nine other competitors. And one thing to keep in mind, folks, remember it is the last participant standing, which does bring in to this idea that the teams that work together can last the longest. Number four. And there's also an interesting caveat here where even if one player, or pardon me, one member of each team is out, that does not mean they're out completely. Basically two opportunities a team. And now here comes a team that perhaps more than any of them won the most. Forcer, Miss Hammer from the Nabuki Con Dojo. The special attraction. Scoot Robertson, Mr. Punishment, Sir Samurai, they are the Honor Society. Scoot Robertson, Sir Samurai, the Honor Society, they are two of the four members of what's being called the Pride of PPW. And introducing the final team, team, and a team number five. That had so many times fallen short of the PPW Tag Team Championships. This might be their best chance, but the former champs walking through the curtain, 
they perhaps have the best chance of all. Sparky Bellard, healing from the Kingdom of Eternia, representing the Kings of Luxury. He is a former two-time PPW Tag Team Champion, the King of California, wrestling personified, Rick Luxury. Well, Rick Luxury's out here, but Kenny K is not. If each and every one of you would kindly shut the hell up. Yeah, that's one way to tell. You see, for anybody with common eyesight, you can tell that Kenny K is not with us tonight. And that is because Heavy is the head that wears the crown, and Sparky Ballard decided that Kenny K should condemn another kingdom tonight. But for anybody that thinks I'm gonna put Sparky Ballard in danger, you're dead wrong, because Sparky Ballard's pockets run a lot deeper than the chumps here at PPW. And Sparky Ballard made sure that tonight I have a championship partner. Introducing the newest member to the Kings of Luxury, the Nightmare Sin. Well, you want to talk about a substitute? No Kenny K tonight, but man, what a villain. He now, Rick Luxury, has added to this match by far the largest member. And you want to talk about a nightmare for the other participants in this match? It's that man. Sin at 6'5", 350 pounds. The big monster in this match who has been interjected on behalf of Sparky Ballard in this coalition that is looking to take PPW down and they're going face to face with the honor society. And I, did we hear, did the bell ring? Yeah, I think so. So the bell's rung and this 10 man battle royal has begun. And quickly joining me, my tag team partner, oh, man. Eric Ritz. Let me just scurry out from the curtain. I've been waiting back there, I didn't want to clearly overshadow any of the guys with my entrance. Well, you do have the best entrance in PPW. Just eyes down, walking out quick. We got our first tag team battle royal, baby. Yeah, so we just heard that Kenny K not here tonight to normally team with Rick Luxury, but he has picked Sin as his, <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty that's a good pretty substitute. Good replacement, man. You know, to go, to go for, I mean, Kenny K, outstanding athlete, but now, and you know this as the battle royal aficionado that you are. I love him. The larger the human team. being, the more difficult he is to eliminate. And you that know. big man has just given this coalition that's led by Sparky Ballard perhaps his biggest opportunity. Oh, oh, Look, Rick Luxury oh. is almost out. Sparky with the little alley-oop. And Karina Kyle getting in his face. But we talked about this in this battle royal. Now Sin, the biggest man in this match and perhaps yeah. the biggest feather in the cap yet for, for Sparky Ballard. Now, a lot of times the biggest guy in a match, the way to get him out is to have seven other guys gamble. But this is a different structure in the Battle Royale. I'm not sure you can get seven guys to put a big man down because it's a team Battle Royale. Right. He's got a guy watching his back. Right. And this is going to be one of the more interesting battle royals that remember the rules are it's the last person standing in this match which means that in situations where one partner goes that team is not out of it the other person can still win that opportunity and so all of a sudden you know at this point you got a guy like right there slay derek slay just hit a sin headbutt yeah but this is an opportunity where all of a sudden <laughs> to K and D passing off the bad boys to Sin. And now D Rogue. Sin's been just stalking around the ring, yep. hitting everyone. <laughs> right. He is not pairing off with anyone. He is just slowly stalking and striking. 
I'm into it. So we have two, well, technically two former tag team championship teams, and there goes the Honor Society all over Sin. It's going to be difficult to try and keep track of all ten men in this match. But like we talked about, you got the former tag team champions in K&D. You have Rick Luxury, who himself has won the tag team titles twice with Kenny K. Mm -hmm. Would not be shocking to see him win gold with a new guy. He's the base of a lot of different Bay Area right. tag teams over the years. But you can see Sin very much taking over in this match as him and Samurai go face to face or face to chest. Meanwhile, K and D all over Rick Luxury. The winner of this match does receive a future PPW Tag Team Championship opportunity. And you can see there, Keita yeah. Murray. Well, that's Sin has been wandering, and I'm fascinated by this guy in this match. He's just going around grabbing people by the face. Oh, and there's D Rogue almost hanging on over the top rope, and Karina Kyle right there on top of it. Why, is, why do a collar and elbow when you can just palm a guy's yeah. face? Really have to ad admire Sin as efficient a wrestler as they come. He is, you think about a guy just kind of stalking around the ring, and that's what he does. But look at him pick his spots. And Samurai, what do you have in his tights there? Could be something, could be nothing. Could be nothing. Something hidden. As him and Scoot Robertson pair off in the far corner. No one has been eliminated quite yet. And you can see Captain Comic, Comic and Sin. firing out of that corner. Oh, right over the thigh. Meanwhile, Rick Luxury. He is dealing over there with Cliff Hendricks. Hendricks trying to push him over the top, but Sin from behind breaks it up and saves his partner. Luxury has been the closest to go out on two different occasions so right. far. So of course, both feet must touch the floor. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. Keita Murray almost got launched out of the ring. d rogue there. By his face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And now Samurai lining up Rick Luxury. But what, Sparky's got a hold of his leg. He's, Sparky has been a part of this for basically the entire match on the outside. And Karina Kyle's had to do more work outside the ring than in. Of course, Sparky leading that team of Jekylls and the former member of the Honor Society, Drake Frost. Two victory last Show and there's oh, Sin! Go! He just got pushed over! And Samurai got pushed over with him! Sin and so now and one member Samurai of both the pride of PPW eliminated. and this coalition led by Sparky Ballard are out of this match. And Sin, who came in as kind of the hired gun by Sparky Ballard, is one of the first to go, but him and Samurai aren't stopping on the outside. Luxury just went over the top. He just eliminated himself. Rick Luxury has been eliminated. Luxury got, now they're going to battle with the Honor Society on the outside. Scoot Robertson is still in this match. Sin has been blasting Samurai with some hard elbows. He is no, he does not seem to care that he was the first man out. He's going for blood. Oh, but Scoot's oh. over the top. Now he's just Scoot eliminated Robertson himself. has been eliminated. So there are three teams remaining. These personal vendettas are nothing but good news for these three other teams. And meanwhile, the Honor Society and the Kings of Luxury going at it on the outside. Sparky Ballard is running for dear life. Get some money, some deep pockets, get you some good running shoes. But now that we have those two teams out of the picture, we are down to our final six. Three teams left to go. Captain Comic with Cliff Hendricks, K and D, Keita Murray and D Rogue, the former champs, and the Bad Boys as some double team in here by Hendricks and Comic. The Honor Society is still going at it with Luxury and Sin over to my left. My goodness. <laughs> Thank you for covering that. I've been keeping an eye I on the no ring. I have no idea where to watch. Meanwhile, Comic and Hendricks now doing it to the Bad Boys. Of course, the Bad Boys made a major impression last year when they helped Boyce Legrand win the PPW Championship in that cage match. 
against J.R. Kratos. But they haven't had as much success on their own. This might be their opportunity to break out. As Hendricks is going to go to the top, Captain Comic has D. Rogue in position. Hendricks. Swanton! Right on the chest. But wait, the bad boy from behind. Hendricks didn't see it, and he's out. Cliff Hendricks. Great work by Teixeira and Slade. And now Comic is by his lonesome in there. Slade watched that whole thing play out from the corner. He mapped that out way in advance. So Hendricks, the youngster of the duo between him and Comic, is out of this match. But if there's one man who can beat the odds, we've seen it before. It's Captain Comic. Oh, he's going to try and suplex both these guys? Seriously? Look at the power! <laughs> There's a reason he's a superhero. Yeah. But now he's got to figure out a way to get him over the top. Oh, Teixeira went low! I'm a big fan of our double elimination group. Yes. I like that a guy can get his man eliminated. But he oh, speaking oh. of, Keita Murray, you want to talk about man. reading the oh, situation? Man. He just sent Comic over the top, man. and now we are down to four. I didn't think he had that arm strength to hit, hit Comic with a Larry enough, big enough to send him over. And now this is where things get tricky. It's two on two. The first person eliminated is going to be at a disadvantage. But here they go with a PPW Tag Team title opportunity on the line. Teixeira working over d Road, Derek Slade working over Keita Murray. The former Tag Team champs against the upstart bad boys. And here goes Teixeira trying to get d Road out over the top is Slade to Keita Murray, but he's holding on. He's holding on and... Oh! Did he get oh. enough? No, Slade still on the apron. And now you can see Murray kicking away. They're both kicking at each other. And I guess technically since they haven't cleared the, the plane back into the ring, they are still both right. ripe for elimination. Speaking of, there's Lucian! Oh. And Lucian did it! He Murray pulled Murray off the apron. Eliminated. And now Slade to share two and one against d -Rogue. And this is the opportunity that the bad boys have been hoping for. Oh, the D-Rogue, a super kick, and Slade is out. It's now one-on-one -on -one for the opportunity. Well, Rogue out to the apron. Teixeira thought he won it. He's going to charge. Rogue over the top, and Teixeira is out. And your winner of the Over the Top Rope Battle Royal. Never and run to the man a in a row future. in a battle PPW royal. Still do it. Tag team championship match. D Rose. Candy, the former tag team champions, have won their second opportunity at the titles. Thanks to D Rose holding off both of the bad boys two on one. And they are going to get their shot at the winner of tonight's main event as Drake Frost and Jekylls defend the PPW titles against Grizzly Cowjack and the flying line Marcus Lewis. That's a big opportunity. And they're going to celebrate with a little orange soda. <laughs> and we'll see when they do want to get that opportunity. It might be at the anniversary show in November. So D-Rogue and Keita Murray will get another shot at the PPW Tag Team Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, and your winner, D-Rogue.